several occasions, parents at an East Haven Elementary School say their kids have been coming home describing things that they found at the school playground, anything from pornography to drug paraphernalia. News 8's Erin Logan went looking for answers. She's live in our New Haven newsroom with more on what's being done to stop it. Erin? Darren, Sonia, parents tell me that these random inappropriate items have been found over the last few months, but what they found just a week and a half ago has really pushed them over the edge. Please tell me tonight they are well aware. A beer bottle and a vodka bottle around elementary school property is disturbing for parents to see, but this mother says she's seen much, much worse. I found porn. I found a vibrator. I found lubricant packages, uh, drug paraphernalia. It's just disturbing. Amber Maroney has been keeping a close eye on the playground area at Overbrook Elementary in East Haven since last May when her son, then in kindergarten, came home telling her he found this. What appeared to be a fashion magazine with naked people. Maroney was floored. I called to the police. I went to the police twice. I've been to the mayor. I've been to the old superintendent. I spoke to the new superintendent. Now she's turning to News 8 to find out if the problem is being taken seriously. Police confirmed that on September 13th, some type of needle was found. Maroney says other parents have heard the stories. Two children in my son's class had a hypodermic needle and were supposedly playing with it or had it in their pocket. Now she and other mothers have had enough. We asked Police <laughs> Chief Brent Larrabee if the Board of Ed has voiced concerns. He said the new superintendent has spoken with him. What uh, is she trying to do? She's trying to do, she, the camera was broken. I believe they're trying to fix that. They're trying to get uh, school um, um, uh, employees to be more vigilant in the area, see if there's anything that shouldn't be there, shouldn't be appropriately in the playground. Um, and we're trying to pick up some uh, more patrols there. It has been kind of somewhat of a challenge, but we're trying to do that. Maroney says the fact that the area is wide open to the public and it's pitch black at night does not help the matter. Police aren't disagreeing. They say the location on a quiet road doesn't help. How would they like it if they went to their office every day and had needles and used condoms and drug paraphernalia? Now, Chief Larrabee tells me that he feels these items being left behind could be by teens that go there because of the location. He's asking you if you see any strange behavior, anything suspicious at that area school or others to do your part and help out by calling the police. Live in the New Haven newsroom, Aaron Logan, back to you in the studio.